all things ideal. All things ideal. Hi, I'm Donna Herberger, owner of the Ideal You Weight Loss Center. The group you will meet on today's show has lost weight and maintained it for a year or more. They will share their stories, their tips and tricks, and things that help them change their lives. We will also meet Chef Darian Bryan, who will be cooking healthy and delicious meals you can make at home. So let's get started with All Things Ideal. A big part of being married is being able to do things together. Debbie and Todd have successfully met a challenge that will keep them healthy for years to come. Todd and Debbie have lost a combined 300 pounds using the Ideal You program. They have kept that weight off and together are enjoying their new lifestyle. Todd, you have a very physical job. You install and refinish hardwood floors. How did you start as that profession? I worked in a restaurant and the weekends were always stuck working so her father asked me if I wanted to uh, to come work for him so I said yeah I'll try it out and 25 years later I'm still doing the same thing and I love it. Debbie, do you remember what you weighed the day that you got married? 180 pounds. At what point after that did you start to gain weight? And definitely with having kids that was huge and never took it back off again. The two of you have lost almost 300 pounds. Three, almost 300 pounds got out of your marital bed. How are the two of you sleeping and feeling now that you've lost so much weight? You don't have that divot in the mattress anymore, which was uncomfortable <laughs> and hurt your back. So, <laughs> yeah, no more back problems either. Now that you're both at goal and maintaining, what foods have you given up or not gone back to? We have not had pizza since before we started this. I wanted a cheeseburger the other day, so I made cheeseburgers for us, but we didn't have a bun. We wrapped them in lettuce. Which works great. Prior to joining the Ideal You, your diet was much different then than it is now. What was dinner back then? Most of the time it was just, uh, we were doing stuff around the house and it'd be like, okay, you gotta eat. Let's just order something from the pizzeria or go get some Chinese or something like that. Both of you were on the program during the holidays, which is a tough time, whether we're dieting or not. How did you get through that, and was it a difficult time for you? It was just mindset. Everything was still on the table. The, the biscuits, the gravies, all that, I just stayed away from it. And sometimes we just even still make our own fish if on a, on a holiday, and everybody else has the ham and the sausage and all that stuff. Debbie. You lost over 50% of your body. You lost one of you. And Todd, you lost over 40% of your body weight. I understand you've got a great exercise routine. What are you doing now that you did not do before losing the weight? 200 sit-ups, uh, 30 push-ups. A day? Yeah. Starting to get a little six-pack going. <laughs> did you find it affordable for the two of you? I've referred some, some friends or coworkers to it, and they come back and they go, wow, that's expensive. And I said, not really. Think about what you're replacing. You know, you're, you're replacing breakfast, lunch, dinner, a snack. You're not ordering out. What would the two of you say to anyone who struggled with their weight for years, maybe even decades? What would you tell them about considering joining the Ideal You? It's a lifestyle change. You have to learn the tools to you know, continue afterwards because you can't go back to the way you did things before. Because if you do, you're just gonna put weight back on. Try it, it works. It's easy, as long as you stick with it. Now let's go to Chef Darian Bryan's kitchen where he will show us how to make a delicious smoky baked tofu. Today we're cooking with Chef Darian Bryan at Thank his so restaurant much. in downtown Buffalo called the Plating Society. So welcome. Thank you so uh, much for having first, me. Thank you. Our first dish today is going to be a baked smoky tofu. Yes, ma'am. I can't wait. You excited? I'm super you like excited. Tofu? It's 
It's not one of my favorites. Okay. But I'm willing to try it and try the way you prepare it so it's interesting and spicy and flavorful. Ooh, you know I'm all about my flavors. <laughs> Whenever you go to the store, make sure you get extra firm tofu. Okay. Because it's just like, it's better to work with. So you open it up, there's water in it. You yep. pour it out. And did you know you should press your tofu even though it's extra firm? Yeah. I did not know that. So I'm gonna show you how you do it. Get a plate. We're pretty much gonna put this right here. Okay. Another plate on top. And get something heavy like some books, some cast iron panels put on top. If the kids are running around, put the kids on it too. <laughs> put something heavy on it. You're gonna let it sit there for at least 25 minutes. Really? And you'll be amazed how much water come out of it. Spaghetti squash. Okay. Love these. They're healthy, they're delicious, they're nutritious. Yeah. My wife loves these too. So when you cut these, go in, all the way down. Don't be afraid of them. They don't bite. Open it up. You get a spoon and you scrape it out. With some light olive oil. We're just gonna rub it in. Get your hands in there. Real simple. And salt and pepper. So sometimes I cook with grapeseed oil instead of olive oil. Oh, that works too. Okay. And you wanna go flesh side down. Flesh side down, all right. You need to pop it right in the oven. At what temperature? Around 400 degrees. I'm sorry? 400 degrees, four, four, yeah. Wow. Yeah, you want it nice and roasty. So this is what it looks like when you're done. Beautiful. Beautiful, so use a fork and you just like, you can use a spoon and just like spoon it up. And come right out. For the tofu now, when it's pressed, we're just gonna slice it up, make some planks, like this. Then we cube them up. So you are originally from Jamaica? Yes, ma'am. Did you cook with any tofu in Jamaica? No, Never. I don't think Jamaicans will mess with tofu at all. <laughs> so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a saute pan. I'm gonna put it in there. Okay. So I'm gonna go with some apple cider vinegar. All right. Just to make the seasoning stick. And this smells so good when you're making it some salt. Mmm. Smell that? Smoked paprika. Wow. Some garlic powder. And we're gonna bake this for at least 20 minutes. All right. And what temperature? This is also 400? Yep. Four or 450. And the longer you, you bake it, the more color it gets too. So we got some that's done right here already. So it is not only darkened, but obviously it shrink, it's yeah. shrunk down. <laughs> yep. Just a little bit. All right, so we're gonna saute our spaghetti squash real quick. Pan, put it in there. You like spaghetti squash? I do, I love it. Yeah. It's like instead of spaghetti, like sometimes my wife likes to do you know, meatballs and you know. Right. So this, it's a little salt and pepper on this, even though I seasoned it before, it's a little bit. We always season for a reason. Toss it up. And this is just to heat it through? Just heat it through, because it's cooked already. <laughs> Steaming, we're gonna put it in a pan. Put it in a bowl. Nice presentation. And we're just gonna pretty much top it off. So Darian, if I may say so, I'm, I've heard that you're pretty famous for the way you plate a dish. Yeah, you know, I, I own the plating society because, you know, that I'm very passionate about my plating. People eat with their eyes, they you know eat what with I mean? Their eyes. Yep. And that is that's, beautiful. That's that. And you can have some like soy sauce, some scallions or some you know, cilantro, whatever green you have. And that's it, low carb. Delicious. And it's delicious. Something simple that you can make at home too for you, your friends, your family. It's quick, it's easy. Thanks for joining us today.
Become your ideal you. How long had it been that you had wanted to lose some weight? I was always on a steady incline of gaining weight. Now that you're at your goal, are you happy with yourself? I look back on the entire year and I really do feel like a completely different person. I look at myself and I see a happier person. Become your ideal you. With ideal you, your healthy rapid weight loss center. Call 631 then. Last year marked our 50th anniversary, which makes Capello the longest operating salon and spa in Western New York. Years of consistency, commitment to education, and dedicated staff allow us to deliver the highest quality services and best professional products available. We strive to provide a comfortable, clean, inviting atmosphere, and Capello has been repeatedly voted best in Buffalo. Capello Salon and Spa, styling beautiful lives so you can look and feel your best. Become your ideal you. Scott, before you started our program, did you think it would work for you? I knew it would work for me. I have tried other structured programs. I lost weight on them. I just always gained the weight back. I literally can't get over the change in how I looked when I started this program to how I look today. Become your ideal you. With ideal you, your healthy rapid weight loss center. Call 631 then. Meet Dr. Racena, Medical Director at the Ideal U. Everybody gets arthritis if you live long enough. If you weigh more than you should, you're going to get it sooner than later. By keeping the weight down, you're either going to minimize or you're going to reduce the chances of problems developing. It's a question of a lifestyle. Become your Ideal U. With Ideal U, your Healthy Rapid Weight Loss Center. Call 631 then. Renee decided to lose weight during COVID. With the stress of isolation and constantly being surrounded by food, she was having a tough time losing any weight. But then Renee came to the Ideal U. Through our program, she got to her target weight, has maintained it, and is now a coach, sharing her knowledge and experience with others. Renee, thank you for doing this for us today. We appreciate your second interview where we're gonna talk about what it's been like in maintenance and how you've maintained. So, but let's go back in time first. Tell us what a typical day was like before joining the Ideal U. Getting up early, eating probably two bowls of cereal, having a bunch of coffee, taking care of my animals, um, working, picking up pizza and wings on my way home, feeding my family, sitting on the couch, watching, the news, watching a quick show, and snacking. I got tired of being overweight. Uh, it happened to be during COVID, and people around me were getting sick, and they were talking about how if you were overweight, you were at a higher risk. I'm in my mid-50s. I did not want to spend the last third of my life overweight. Um, I was up to almost 200 pounds. And really? that was my number, that was my number, that I said I will not hit that weight because if I get there, I don't know if I'll ever get back. And I tried doing it myself, I tried starting on my own, and I lost 10 pounds in two months, but it was not what I had hoped for. And that's when I went looking to Ideal U. In five months, you were down 55 pounds, 11 pounds a month, and then the holidays were at our doorstep. What happened over the holidays? Nothing, because mm -hmm. I knew they were coming. In fact, um, the week and after I reached my goal weight, I went on a vacation <laughs> with my husband and some friends. And even on that vacation, I'd, I had learned how to plan ahead um, for what might be coming. I learned how to look at the restaurants we were gonna go to and start coming up with ideas on what I wanted to eat. The reality of life is that there are gonna be hiccups. There are gonna be things that come up constantly. And you just have to find ways to sidestep it a little bit to stay within what you need to do. When I started with Ideal U, my number one question to the people who are working behind the counter is, is it possible to maintain this? I don't have a problem losing weight. My problem is keeping it off. 
And with the Ideal You program, this is definitely a lifetime doable program. You now work at the Ideal You at our West Seneca location, and we love that you're there. So tell us what it's like now that the student has become the teacher. I believe in this program, and I really enjoy sharing it with other people because I know it works, and I want them to feel what I feel. What are your thoughts on diet and exercise? It definitely has proven to me that it's more about what you're eating than the amount of activity. Let's lose the weight through controlling what we eat. And then when you lose the weight, you want to be active. You want to go out and physically do stuff. Tell us about this person. I would wear the baggiest clothes that I could find thinking that it helped cover things up. I never tucked a shirt in. I never wore anything that was um, fitted. Tell us about this person. I'm glad that person has stayed around. Um, I've worked very hard to keep that. I have more energy. I sleep well. I'm just honestly happier than I was sure. a year ago. Wouldn't you love a delicious steak? Well, Chef Darian Bryan is going to show us how to make a delicious fajita flank steak. All things ideal. Welcome back to All Things Ideal and our cooking segment with Chef Darian Bryan in his kitchen, the Plating Society in Buffalo, New York. Today, he's gonna to make for us a flank steak with cauliflower rice. Fajita style, you know. Fajita dude? style? Yeah, fajita Forgot style. That. All the colors, I love the colors. I'm from Jamaica, I love bold colors, you know. So when I see the red, you know, the gold and the green, I'm like, I'm all in. I'm in. So first thing first, we have beautiful flank steak here. That's just beautiful. You like flank steak? I do. It's not a cut that most people really talk about. I feel like it's underrated. It's a beautiful cut of meat. So we're just gonna rub it up, both sides. But it's not just the cut of meat, but how you cook it. Yeah. How you prepare it. Mmm. That smoked paprika again, man. Add that nice smoky element to this dish. Get what is your cumin. favorite spice? That's a good question. You know, I love salt and pepper. Salt and pepper go a long way, you know? But um, I love cinnamon and nutmeg. Ah. It's just because of the way I grew up in, in Jamaica, you know what I mean? That cinnamon and nutmeg is like a must in every home in Jamaica. So whenever you're grilling, make sure you put some oil in the grill or a little spray right. or else it's going to stick. Okay. You want to put some oil in the protein and also on the grill. Okay. So we're going to lay it down. Hear that sizzle? Your neighbor's going to come over like wondering what's that amazing smell. That does smell great. <laughs> I walked in here about a half an hour ago and everything already smelled so good. That was just my, my cologne, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we get this pan going. Now the flame under that, that's pretty high. Yes, you want a nice char in your steaks. I got some sesame oil. Just a little bit just to coat the pan. Why sesame oil and not olive oil? Because I love sesame oil for a dish like this. And I would say it's just much, like, tastes better and also healthier too, you know, sesame. It's good for you, sure. Yeah. And we get that rolling, get it nice and hot. Then the rice goes in. And we did not see you prepare that cauliflower, but how did you do that? So you can find these in the frozen aisle. Frozen veggies and fruits is good for you, it's not like it's bad. It's quick and easy. Sure. And also you can put in a food processor and chop it up and turn it into rice. Okay. You season this a little bit, just a little salt and pepper. A little bit. Check the steak. See what we got. We got some color. I need more color though. Because you know color equal flavor, especially in my kitchen. Okay. All right, so while that's going, we turn this down. We're gonna cut these up. So we're gonna grill these up, get some nice color in them. Toss this up a little bit. Let's check our steak to see what we're looking like. 
We're going to turn this a little bit right there. Nice little cross mark on it. Ooh, look at those colors, man. Remind me of home. Look at that. So what we're going to do, we're going to plate. We're going to toss it up and we're going to plate. So folks, eating healthy can be fun. It's delicious. And once you start eating the healthy vegetables, you don't want the unhealthy things. At least I don't. Do you find that's true? That's true. Because when I cook for you know, most of the NFL players and stuff like that, you know, they eat all the healthy stuff. And I find myself eating it too. I'm like, oh, this is fun. This is tasty. It's delicious. So we're going to take this off. We're going to let it rest. You don't want to cut it in right away or it's just going to bleed out. You okay. want all of those juice go back where they come from, right? All right. All right. So How we're long gonna do you let this? it sit before cutting it? Normally, it's at least like three to four minutes. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Darian. We're, we're eating with style. There's a little pink right there. It's okay, too. We're eating with style today. Got a little parsley right here. Hence the name, Just to the top Plating it Society. That's what we do. That's what we do. Beautiful. And eat some soy sauce on the side just for dipping. You know, I'm gonna show you how to do it, just like this. That's delicious. And folks, this is a dish you can make at home. Even though it's Buffalo, New York, I grill 365 days a year outside, and you can too. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Let's do it. <laughs>Was your motivation for joining and wanting to lose some weight? I had promised my children that I would not die from an obesity related illness. And I said, What the heck are you doing? Being on this plan, my head is so clear, I'm happy with where I am at in life. Become your ideal you with Ideal You, your healthy rapid weight loss center. Call 631 then. Last year marked our 50th anniversary, which makes Capello the longest operating salon and spa in Western New York. Years of consistency, commitment to education, and dedicated staff allow us to deliver the highest quality services and best professional products available. We strive to provide a comfortable, clean, inviting atmosphere, and Capello has been repeatedly voted best in Buffalo. Capello Salon and Spa, styling beautiful lives so you can look and feel your best. Become your ideal you. I wasn't feeling well. I researched different diets, and the ideal you was the diet that I chose. I've since lost 75 pounds. People didn't recognize me any longer. I feel like a different person. Thanks to ideal you, I don't feel sore, and I don't feel pains and aches. I'm having the time of my life. Become your ideal you. With ideal you, your healthy rapid weight loss center. Call 631-THIN. You may remember meeting Joan. She is just one of our many weight loss success stories. Joan has lost 100 pounds a few times in her lifetime, but what we celebrate today is the fact that Joan has now kept her weight off for over two years. Recently on vacation, Joan was able to walk to the top of the Belfry Tower. Thank you for joining us again today for our follow-up interview. You not only lost 107.4 pounds, but the significance today is to talk about the fact that you've been able to successfully keep that off for over two years, so congratulations. When I'm talking to clients, I will always say to them that your goal is to get to goal, but your greater goal is to stay there. And I really believe that. I mean, what is the point of putting all this effort and money into losing weight and then going back where you came from? Right. It doesn't make any sense, so stay around for maintenance because right. that's your goal, to stay there. And you are a coach in our West Seneca location. Our best coaches are those people who have lived it, done the, the program successfully, and they're now paying it forward. Well, thank you for the opportunity because I knew when I started this program that within a month I wanted to work for Ideal U. It, you the did? Program, yes. I was amazed that I had no cravings. I went out with friends and whatever they were eating didn't bother me at all. 
I, it just blew my mind that I wasn't looking for the things they were having or feeling denied. I was totally in control of what I was putting into my mouth. Before I deal you, I tried other weight loss programs that are out there. I never was able to maintain that weight. Honestly, this is not the first time I've lost 100 pounds. It's the first time I've kept it off, and that's impressive to me as well. It's hard to visualize losing 110 pounds, but if you can break it down into 10% or even pounds, like every 10 pounds or every 15 pounds, something like that, it's, uh, it's an easier goal to achieve than trying to imagine achieving the whole goal. It's exciting at, at Ideal You. I mean, everybody gets excited about it. We ring a bell, everybody is hooping and hollering. So recently you took a wonderful vacation. You were on a cruise. We went on a Viking cruise on the Rhone River. It began at Bruges. In Bruges, there's a belfry tower. It has 366 steps. I climbed to the top of the belfry tower. I would have never done that at 245 pounds. And Isabel, too, my granddaughter. I do things with her that I probably would never have done before. We go to the fair and I ride on the rides with her. I don't sit and watch her riding on the rides while I sit on a bench. We do things together. When you're on our phase one, no bread, no rice, no pasta, no potatoes. You transition into maintenance. Are there things that never came back just because you didn't want them? Um, I don't eat a lot of fatty foods like bacon. Um, I don't eat a lot of carbs any longer either. A uh, big treat for us is uh, have, on Fridays we have salmon with sweet potato fries okay. in the air fryer. In the air fryer. Yes, and that's a big treat. You're also one of our hostesses for our Wednesday night open houses people looking to come in to get information, and maybe they think, well, that's great that you lost all that weight, Joan, but I can't do that, or I don't know if I can do that. What do you tell those people? If I can do it, you can do it. I'm no different than anybody else. It's just a matter of will, and how much do you want to lose it? And, you know, life is better than her. This has been a lifelong struggle for me been successful and I've been unsuccessful. This is success that's lasting. And you can do this. Thanks for joining us on this week's edition of All Things Ideal. Join us again next time when we'll meet another great group of people to share their stories on how they live All Things Ideal. I'm Donna Herberger. We'll see you next time. All things.